that the garbage truck? He likes it. Bye, garbage man. Bye. Bye. Did you see a garbage truck? <laughs> when Cooper was little, the garbage truck would come every Wednesday morning, or one of the days of the week, I don't remember. Anyway, that was the day of the week that Cooper would wake up very early, I could count on it, and I hated that garbage truck so bad because Cooper would wake up early and he'd be awake the rest of the morning, and it was really early in the morning. We're looking at the kids' calendar today. Today's the 18th, and there is nothing on it, which means we can pick from the bucket list for the kids, and the kids chose a picnic today, and it's actually, like on the official calendar, officially picnic day. So we are going to oh, do a picnic. Yes, we are gonna do that. The kids have been asking to make Muddy Buddies, so we've got this cereal which nobody likes, and so we are going to turn something yucky into something yummy. The recipe calls for two cups of chocolate chips. We don't have enough chocolate chips, so we have butterscotch chips and white chips. We are going to piece this together, and I bet it will be extra yummy. Cutest little Dr. Daru in town wanting to check my heart. You want to listen to my heart? Can you hear that? What does it sound like? It sounds like a tornado. A tornado! It sounds like a tornado. Does that mean my heart is kind of scary? You, I wouldn't put that in my mouth. Okay. All right, let's hear Cooper's heart. Is it big or little? Show me your fist. That's how big your heart is. Whoa. I hear it. It sounds like you have a great big heart full of love. I don't push Ew, you. my ear is wet. <laughs> Gross. You just like basically gave me a wet willy because you looked on this. <laughs> I got a wet willy. You teased me. <laughs> Mom, well, I'll give you a big wet kiss then. Before we leave to go to the park to have our picnic, I just wanted to get on and chat for just a second. I don't know who all watches these videos and what you guys think we're like. You guys get 10 minutes on average of our entire day. And I don't want anyone to ever think, oh wow, that family really has it all put together. They get along so well and they're so happy and cheerful. But the reality is, is there was a lot of tension in the house this morning. There was fighting, there was anger. <sighs> We just needed to take a deep breath, come together, give each other all a big hug, and just say, I love you, I love you, we all love each other, let's just be happy. Emma, don't play the piano while I'm trying to talk. I know what you're gonna do. Emma? That's not me. So indifferent. Now that things are back on track, let's pack up these kids in the car, take a game with us, and go play at the park. Should we do that? Go have some little fun and enjoy the sunshine. And guess what? It's June and I'm still wearing pants. And I haven't even had to turn on like the air very much because it has been such a cool month and I'm not gonna complain. I kinda like it. Well, we got our lunch, our game, your shoes, my shoes, your shoes, your shoes, your hat. Where's your shoes? We got in the car and he said, no, we were getting out of the car, and he said, Mom, I forgot my shoes. Cooper, you are almost six years old. You are responsible for your shoes. Sunny. Lannon planted a jalapeno plant so that he could have fresh salsa, or at least a fresh jalapeno, on whatever he wanted this summer. It was the only thing we planted in a garden. So much for a garden. But Sunny has decided to use it as her dust bath, and I think they nibbled on some of the leaves, and so the you can see the jalapeno only made it that big right there. I think it's a goner, Landon. I think it's a goner, and she looks pretty happy to be sitting in there right now. Look at that. <laughs> Hi, 
Okay, I called the kids over here. You guys wanted that swimming pool set up. I set it up, we put water in it, and how long have each of you lasted in that pool? Probably no longer than, what, like 30 seconds? I have one $5 bill, do you see that? Yes. No, have it. You want it? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the game. One lucky person is gonna get this. And it is called, the last person who gets out of the pool can have it. Ready, set, go. But no, everybody... Well, Cooper, you have to start in it to play the game. Oh, okay. You have to get in the pool. Everybody... I don't care if you sit down, lay down, whatever you want. All right, are you all in there? Mm -hmm. There's about like six inches of water or so. Okay. Cooper, oh. Oh, that was way too easy. That was way too easy. That lasted like 10 seconds. Here's a new rule. Everyone get back in there. The last person has to last at least five minutes. Okay. One, two, three, four, four, five. Five minutes, not five seconds. Uh-oh, we have a loser. I win the. <laughs> You're not the winner. Yeah, I win the. You're a winner of, guess what? Mom's kiss. Emma's got a tactic over here. She is getting distracted, she says. Cheetah's gonna kill the dinosaur. The dinosaur is gonna win. <laughs> Cooper's showing off his muscles. That's awesome. Who's stronger? Dad. Dad is? That's a pretty good answer. I'd say so, too. Do you feel like you really deserve this? You did stay in there the longest. Yeah. Do you feel like you were nice to everyone though? Yeah. Really? I was just playing. You were just yeah. playing? Yeah. <laughs> well, that did not go as expected. I came inside and Emma put the money on the counter, so I feel like she thinks that she probably doesn't really get it. That was not at all what I had in mind, or the reaction that we were gonna get to this well, anyway, wow, that's all I can say. I think we all just need a nap. I did not say anything. Emma just grabbed a wet wipe and started cleaning all the door handles so that the house would look clean, she said. And then, one bite. And she also got a washcloth and was cleaning the baseboards of the house. I think she's really trying to earn that $5 so that she feels like she can justify it a little bit more than just scaring Cooper out of the pool. Um, I think that's kind of cute of her. Hey, Miss, you want more food? I think she's earned the $5. Excuse me, little girl. You, we couldn't find her for the longest time. We're getting ready for bed. We said, okay, everyone put your jammies on, brush your teeth, get all ready for bed. We couldn't find Emma. You've been down here watching the movie. Little Rascals, show me. Did you know I used to watch that with my friend when I was little? Yeah. No, I did, I watched that when I was little with my friend. Do I let her stay up and watch this movie and not tell the brothers and the brothers will go to bed and you can stay up and watch yeah, the movie? Yeah, let me stay up and watch the movie. I have to admit, you did an awesome job cleaning the house today. Thank you very much. Watch out, yes, you finally said thank you. You were the me. last one, I, I told you. I said thank you. And she was the longest one in the swimming pool today. And she helped me clean up the yard. And you helped me with the other kids. She was a big help today. Emma, she's not even listening to me. You're too busy watching Little Rascals. She was a huge help. So Emma, seriously, thank you. Can you give them enough attention to say thank you so much for watching? Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> How many teeth do you have missing? Let's see. One, two, three teeth are kind of growing in. Thank you so much for watching today.